getting ready to go. This place is known for some stuff. It has some gardens and some nice places around here, but I'm gonna hit the road. Find a place to get some coffee. This guy was snoring last night like crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't even know it. He doesn't even know it. He was a chainsaw. It was crazy. My recommendation to all you uh, guys that go to the hostel, earplugs. Earplugs. <laughs> Japanese motherfucker sound of shit. I should have recorded him. I should have recorded him. He had no idea he was making such noise. <laughs> no shot. Rock the boat. Don't tip the boat over. Don't rock the boat, baby. All right, we're leaving Okayama. I could have stayed here a little while longer, but uh, I gotta press on. Okayama, they said, is uh, like a hippie paradise. Hello. Which is interesting. They say uh, there's a lot of hippies here. <laughs> rock the boat. <laughs> Love and devotion Well, I'd like to know if you got the notion Well, I'd like to know if you got the notion All right, let's get going. It's 10 o'clock. I, I just recorded a uh, video, my solution to the North Korea situation. I'm a little nervous about it. Hello. Hello. I'm a little nervous about it because it's uh, it's political, you know? I try to stay away from political stuff, but uh, I've had a few people requesting it, and the longer I wait, the less or the more pertinent it becomes because North Korea is not going anywhere, and uh, I'd like to offer my opinion on it. Anyways, it's done. I'm on the road, so let's kick the tires and light the fires. Wearing my knee brace today. Yeah, I... Uh, a little bit, a little bit clinky. I think maybe it's because it's so cold. Just starting to feel a little bit. But it's okay. Howdy, folks. While the sun is shining and the wind is blowing in my face all day, I'm going slow. <laughs> But I'm along the ocean, which is nice. But golly, bucking the wind is a pain in the butt. Pain in my face. Anyways, I thought I'd chime in. Not doing a lot of video today, just trying to counteract this wind and get to the destination. Not even halfway there yet. <laughs> and it's 2.30. Matty G is in store for a long day. I am. Cold. Not like ice cold. Just toes are numb. The soles of my feet are numb. I really need new shoes. These Nikes were okay for running, but I destroyed them on the mountains I climbed. Yeah, Rishi Reef in particular. And they are just screaming to be replaced. I just can't find a shoe shop with my size. It's very frustrating. Hello. I've spent the last uh, few hours, three or so, listening to the recent Joe Rogan podcast. If you guys don't know, I listen to podcasts while I'm on the road. It's educational. And uh, the recent podcast, which was an interview or more of a conversation between Joe Rogan and Dan Carlin, two of my favorite people, was very motivating, very interesting and I would recommend it to anybody out there. Go to the Joe Rogan Experience podcast with uh, Dan Carlin. It's like one of the more recent ones. Very nice. Good podcast, sir. 
are good, good to have in my life on the road. I'm riding along the tracks. I've got about 15 kilometers left. Maybe less. I don't know, I haven't checked. Once I'm over this hump, it'll just be city driving until I arrive at the hotel. Then I have to sit down and plan my uh, island hopping adventure. Tomorrow I have an island hopping adventure. It's the purpose of the stop tonight is to land at the head of a road that bridges the gap between the mainland of Japan, Hanch Hanchu Island, and this other island that's off to the side, which my brain is a little frozen on. It's an amazing road. It should be very drone worthy. And everybody has been recommending me to go there. I, I wasn't going to go there uh, on reconsideration of my timetable, but then a bunch of people out in Jayo Nation said, you gotta go out there, man. It's, it's, if you're cycling in Japan, that's the place you gotta go. You guys, you guys. So I'm, I'm headed out there. I'll, I'll ride over the island bridge tomorrow. But for now, gripping my toes in order to try to get them to warm up. And just gonna sweat out this last little bit until I arrive at the hotel. Hostel. Anyways, I'll catch up when I get there. Well, we're not at the hotel. We're at an Okonomiyaki place. Uh, I, I already stopped at the hostel, and they told me to come here. They really recommended it. So I'm, I'm gonna eat some food, and then uh, go to the onsen. But I was told that this Okonomiyaki place is extremely special, and you gotta go. It's so cold outside that my lens is, is freezing. It's, it's fogging up. Day, a long ride, so I got myself two Okonomiyaki. The second one here, fully loaded. First one I got was the number four. It was recommended to me by the by the hostel, but Okonomiyaki is better when everything's on it. So, anyways, I'm gonna enjoy it. I will talk to you later. You know I'm gonna end the vlog today, so um, I'll take it easy. Tomorrow's gonna be an awesome ride. We're gonna jump from island to island, to island. At the end of the day, I'm gonna take another ferry to another island and I'm gonna spend the night there and then jump island, island, island all the way to Hiroshima. It should be fun. Batteries are charged in a drone. The hostel is all booked. I'm going to an onsen, gonna relax, and then hopefully plug out a video tonight. I will talk to you later. Jaiyo.